Um, and then the other big one, this one didn't actually happen in the course itself. This happened at one of the masterminds is when Troy told me, I need to let go of what my team does and let them fail. That was another big, uh, cause I, I was very, very controlled on what happened with the business. And by allowing them to have the freedom to do what they need to do and possibly screw up, but still we could fix it. That actually fed into what happened a couple of year, uh, year and a half ago when I got really sick and I had to step out of the business for three months. My team handled every single problem. I didn't get a phone call. Welcome to the WP Elevation Business Podcast. I'm your host, Ray Miladoni, and I'm excited because you're about to meet an elevator. Why is that so exciting? Well, over the years as the marketing manager, I've been getting lots of emails asking what's life like after implementing the blueprint? Is it something that can really dramatically change my life? Well, you're in luck because we're gonna meet elevators who have actually walked the walk. They're action takers, they're people who have implemented the learning and followed the process and trusted that it's all going to be okay. Now you do need to put in the work in order to get the results, but the people you're going to meet in this series are the ones that have taken action and gone through the, the struggles, the ups and downs of an entrepreneur, and now at the other end, living life and enjoying where they have come and how far they've come. Now, it's hard to share what the community's like, but hopefully you can get a bit of a feel of it through the stories that the elevators share. Unfortunately, the community, you need to be a member of it to kind of get that first-hand feeling. But the community is definitely something in the WP Elevation Blueprint that is really unique and special and is kind of the, the people that you can lean to when times get tough. And through some of these stories, you'll hear that people do lean on the community when they need that extra support or that extra motivation. So without further ado, let's go meet one of the elevators. This is the WP Elevation Podcast, helping WordPress consultants elevate. Hey, this episode of the WP Elevation Podcast is brought to you by WP Elevation. Well, more specifically, it's brought to you by a bunch of our happy customers. See, frankly, I feel a little bit awkward telling you how great WP Elevation is because you're probably not gonna believe me because WP Elevation is my baby. It's something that we started over three years ago. Of course, now we're a team of, of, of coaches and mentors and we have hundreds and by the time you're listening to this, probably thousands of members all over the world. But it still really is something that I'm very passionate about. And, and of course, if you join WP Elevation, we make revenue and we make profit. So it's a little bit awkward if I tell you how great it is because you probably think I'm just trying to sell you on it. And partially I am because I know how beneficial the program is. So what I'd love to do instead is just introduce you to some of our customers. So if you go to wpelevation.com slash the podcast, all one word, you'll be able to hear some of those stories from our customers and hear for yourself how WP Elevation has impacted their business and changed their lives. I hope you enjoy that and I hope you check it out at some point. Right now, let's get back to the podcast. Jamie Hill, welcome to the WP Elevation Business Podcast. Super glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Excellent, excellent. It's always super exciting to meet uh, the elevators, the people in our community. We see chats in our group and so forth. It's always good to hang out and put some names to faces. And I know Troy gets to hang out with a lot of you guys and girls uh, in, in person, uh, but us uh, behind the scenes to get to kind of do a bit more virtually. So thank you very much for coming on and making the time today. Oh, my pleasure. So I just wanted to uh, get a little bit to, to know you a bit more for our audience and listeners. Um, tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. Yeah. Um, so Innovate Marketing, it's a web design and a marketing company. Um, and obviously I own that and my wife and I run it together as equal partners. Uh, and then I have three kids and two dogs and two cats. So, uh, you know, I, I stay pretty busy going that way too. Uh, but I, I'm, the kids are as involved into this business as possible with them still being in high school and, and middle school. So, um, you know, we, we get them involved in the projects, the web design, starting one of, one of my sons is doing marketing with me and wow. that's kind of, kind of how we go with that. And first and foremost, I'm a dad and then I'm a business owner. Love that. Love that. It seems like you've kind of got the work um, life family integration kind of working <laughs> in a way. And that's yeah. great, you know, cause they're learning life skills through, you know, le you know, running a business and having responsibilities and client work and deliverables and deadlines. Oh, for sure. And I, I treat them just like I treat every single one of my other contractors or employees. They got deadlines and they got to meet it and, you know, um, things like that. And then on a, on a personal side, it, it took us a couple of years, but we also got our, our personal life um, quite well separated with the kids too. So got get some time to step away from the business and, and spend with the kids. So it's not all business 24-7. 
Yeah, love it, love it. That's great, that's great. What a great ecosystem you've been able to create there. So what was life like before you came across Troy Dean and the WP Elevation Blueprint? Yeah, it was, it was a, a grind. Um, my wife and I, so we didn't found Innovate Marketing. We, we actually purchased it about six years ago. Um, and when we bought it, I was I very much followed uh, Gary V and Grant Cardone. And for them, it's all about the grind, all about, you know, working 16 hours a day, getting three hours of sleep and going back to work. And, and so that's kind of how we were positioning ourselves. Uh, and a lot of business that way, but my wife and I were burning out very quickly. Um, and so when I came on to WP Elevation, we actually weren't one of Troy's target audiences because we already had an uh, agency. We already had teams running. Our pricing was up there pretty high, um, but we still took rolled the dice and went in there. And, and amazingly, I still learned way more than I had beforehand. So uh, we, we were then able to step back, slow the work down, still keep it profitable, still actually continue to grow the company. Um, we're doing about X almost every year in growth and still be able to go camping with my, with my family or go on vacations, go down and visit my uh, in-laws who live 14 and a half hours away, things like that, that we weren't able to do before. Um, so we're actually making more money, but working less. So wow. love that. And it's love all that. because of the processes. They'll yeah. save so much time. And so when, when you say that you weren't one of Troy Dean's client, you know, ideal clients, what, what was going through your mind at that time when you were thinking to join? Why did you feel like maybe you were not going to get a lot of value out of it and then kind of obviously wish you now, now, now yeah. that you know what you know, glad that you did? Well, when, when Troy was doing the, the webinars that he does every time there's an intake, you know, it, a lot of the conversation and, the, and even the content that was sent out um, and we had been following Troy for a while, so the content we received in our emails, it really kind of almost geared itself towards a, a small small shop, you know, a couple of people, even freelancers. And so since we were already at 20 some people, my wife and I, we had a, we had a very serious talk about this is a good chunk of money. Um, and it's not, I mean, it's not gonna kill us if, if we waste it, but it's still a good chunk of money. Should we go forward with it? And my wife's like, look, anything that can help you get organized and get the processes down, I'm all for dropping the money on. So um, she was actually the one that kind of pushed us to join, which is out of character for her. Normally, I'm the one that jumps in and she's like, well, we got to slow down. It was vice versa on that. So, um, But when I got in, I found out that even though a lot of the stuff is geared towards the freelancers and the small web agencies, we can still apply. 90% of those processes with integration with what we do and save more time and, and thus money and headaches and all that other good stuff. Yeah. Love that. And so once you started doing the blueprint, how quickly mm -hmm. were you to start implementing or did you wait until you finished everything and then start implementing? Some of it I implemented the, the week that that module uh, opened up. So I was, I was actually one of the, the students that the minute that mod opened up, I didn't care what time it was. I was on it, I was doing it, and it was done. Yeah. Um, and so some of it I implemented right away because I could see the benefits of it and I could move my team in that direction very quickly. And some of the aspects I had to, had to take a little bit because <clears throat> getting some of my uh, web designers to change up how they do things, different things like that. It was, it was quite a, quite a fun aspect on that. So that took a little bit. So I'd say about 50% we implemented right away. And then some of the other stuff took a little bit longer. Yeah. That's really good to hear that because it means that, you know, sometimes when there's courses, this, these are the quick wins that we want people to implement mm -hmm. and kind of start seeing the change in their business right away. And then there's other yeah. things that may take a little bit more planning and you need to get developers on board and you need to, you know, really think about the strategy and those things will happen, uh, you know, a little bit later on once the course is completed um, and then you join the community. So chatting yeah. about the community. And, yep. Oh, and I was going to say, and, and I tell every new uh, person that comes in, don't worry if you don't implement it all right away, it's, you know, learn it, then implement it. So um, it's, it's really not a bad thing that it didn't all get implemented the minute I learned it. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's what's really good with the community and the mentors and coaches and the program is mm -hmm. that um, you can kind of go at it your own pace, even though we drip the courses out over six weeks to pace the students and, you know, have a bit more of collective learning. Um, you can really 
hit the ground running as you please and when you when you kind of feel like it's the right time. Um, so how long have you been a member in the WP Elevation Blueprint program? Uh, almost four years. Uh, like wow. we're, we're three and a half years, almost four years in there. So um, we actually were coming on just when the coaches started really coming on board. Um, and then, then uh, so, so we, yeah, like I said, about three and a half, four years. Uh, my wife and I, she's more stepped out of WP Elevation and now it's just more me in there because um, she's kind of moved off into doing web design and running that team. So she's not on Facebook that much. Yeah, excellent. Well, that's that, that, you know, we've seen that as, as a bit of a trend as well. But um, the community that we have is obviously growing really, really large and there's a lot of people oh, yeah. in there. How do you find the community? Like, has it been a really key part of growing your business and sticking around for four years? Yeah, you know, so for me, the community... It, it was great because, A, uh, one of the things I enjoy doing is mentoring and, and teaching. So um, a lot of, the, lot of the members that are moving from that freelancer into a small agency, hiring that team, I was able to talk on that with some of them, either one-on-one or, or with coaches. So that was great. And then even again, as a larger agency, there's still things that I haven't fully grasped or haven't fully figured out. And for for a couple of years uh we'll take like the discovery session for a couple of years i fumbled with that and it and even like i said large agency um and it took cliff from my web audit to break it down and explain it and it was like oh okay that's what i've been missing for the last two and a half years so even even having all of our stuff together and still running pretty well i still learn stuff and every day especially doing what we focus on and it's nice to have other people that you can trust when you say i i can't figure out why site x is doing this and you got robert simmons or grant cardone um not grant cardone or grant come in and he's like try this or check that out and so that that community right there alone is is worth staying and and working in it yeah, absolutely. It's, it's great because, you know, a lot of people come in for the structure and then they realize mm-hmm. that it's really the community that they're missing. They just thought it was structure. But the structure is yeah. really nice to have. And as you've explained, is helped move your business forward and get organized and processed. And, um, that, 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 you know, that, that's kind of a great story and, and love that. And you mentioned that, like, you've had some really key moments throughout the blueprint. Um, I don't know if I can take you back three and a half years ago when you're actually doing the blueprint. <laughs> what was like that aha moment where you just, you just learned something and went, holy crap, that's what I needed to learn right now. Do you remember any aha moments? Yeah. So like the, the, one of the bigger ones for us was the, we, we made every, everything was complex. So our intake process was complex. Our onboarding, offboarding, everything was very complex and very bulky. And so there was a lot of, I can't, I can't necessarily say it was this module or that module, but there was consistently throughout that six weeks, something that one of the coaches that did the thing um, or Troy or Mike Kellen, actually, I can tell you this one, Mike Kellen with our content, like that was big aha moment when we were doing the, he wasn't a coach yet. And he he had did a, 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 one of the the courses on content and it was like, that's what we're missing. Um, And so there, and then there was a lot of tiny ones in there about the processes, the organization. I mean, we moved from Asana to, um, teamwork because of WP elevation and that's so much easier and so much easier to flow through. Um, and just different aha moments like that of ways to save money, save time and make my life and my team's life a lot easier. Um, and then the other big one, this one that didn't actually happen in the course itself. This happened at one of the masterminds is when Troy told me I need to let go of what my team does and let them fail. That was another big, uh, cause I, I was very, very controlled on what happened with the business and by allowing them to have the freedom to do what they need to do and possibly screw up, but still we could fix it. That actually fed into what happened a couple of year, a uh, year and a half ago when I got really sick and I had to step out of the business for three months, my team handled every single problem. I didn't get a phone call. Wow. So having those kind of aha moments, paid, which I don't even remember, but what I paid, I got a hundred times back just in an advice or different processes that we put in there. Those aha moments that you're talking about. <laughs> well, it, that, you know, it sounds like you kind of live in a bit of the dream and so forth. Do you ever have to pinch yourself? <laughs> 
Yeah, you know, I've always been a business owner. So ever since yeah. I got out of the Navy, it's, I bought businesses. And, and that's exactly it. We've, we haven't had one that was, they've all been profitable. They've all made money. We haven't had one as smooth running as this one is. Um, and it's even bigger than any of my other businesses were. So, you know, there's constantly, my wife and I got to, are we sure we're still doing the right thing to make sure it happens and, and continues to happen doing what, what we need to do. Yeah, love that, love that. And um, you also mentioned that there was some content that wasn't part of the blueprint, and and a lot of people don't know, but we do release a lot of bonus material and supporting material. Did you find that useful or distracting? And do you feel that it came out at the right time? Yeah, you know, I didn't, and it might have just been how I learn. I, I was again one of those people that was always on Troy. I was sending him PMs all the time. Let me get the rest of the course. Don't make me wait six weeks. <laughs> oh, you um, wanted in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was one of them exactly. But uh, you know the. The thing, like, so it, it, those, those courses, the way they were laid out to the bonus material to come in right after one of the modulars finished, it, it really helped create those aha moments because like with the content, we've always been marketing driven, but that content came out right about the same time Google started changing their, their rules for content. And so having that entire course on Mike saying this is how you build your content and your blogs and all that 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 was just feeding off of staying organized and then he comes in with the content and how to stay organized so yeah i think they all released at right about the same time that they were needed um and i i don't think they distracted me my wife got a little distracted but she sees shiny objects and she kind of floats away anyway so i don't i don't think that was the course i think that was just her um you know and and i haven't heard a whole lot of other people saying I can't focus on the blueprint. And I think a lot of that is because it's self-paced. You mm. don't have to rush through it. And it's, like you said, it's drip fed out. So you're also not getting overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah. It's that right balance of uh, learning and implementing and feeling actually that the, the success of what you've learned as opposed to um, just, you know, just learning and putting your memory for one day. You can actually yeah. get some stuff done and get that quick win and go, oh, just made this change. Here's that instant gratification. It works. You know, trust exactly. the and, and if it doesn't work, you have the coaching call in a few days. That's right. That's, and you can go and it's Troy or Simon, um, you know, be like, this don't work. What did I do wrong? Or what can I do differently? So you you also have the time to implement it yourself and potentially fail before the coaching call happens. Like the coaching call doesn't happen the day the mod opens up. So that was another really nice thing is, is the timing of when those coaching calls happen too. So that was another good timing aspect in my mind. Yes. It's all designed to uh, make it work. <laughs> you know, there's That's no, right. but not by accident. Uh, it's definitely, you know, we always relate this back to like learning in, in classrooms environments and there's always a facilitator. There's always someone showing you the way. Um, and there's mm -hmm. no reason why this shouldn't be the same as opposed to just a, another online course where people buy and then do nothing with it. Uh, and there's no accident that we, our completion rates so many percent plus. Yeah. I, I have plenty of those courses that I've bought and maybe like, done a couple of courses in their classes in there and, and, and forgot about it. So yeah, the, and this was one of the few courses I've actually finished 100% to completion and stayed a part of the community. So yeah, um, awesome. you know, Awesome. And you're a great value into the, in the community. I see you always helping other people win, which is what's great. Cause you know, they always say that, it, you know, if you want to learn something, teach it. Um, and then it's yeah. definitely going to stick in your memory. And I can see that you're one of those proactive members that are always helping, you know, some of the new elevators win and, and, and share your story of what did or didn't work for you. Um, so I really appreciate you, you know, coming and sharing that again with us on the, on the podcast. You mentioned shiny oh, object. Problem before and yeah. um, obviously this wouldn't be a wordpress uh podcast um or a community if we didn't talk about some of your favorite tools so what's a shiny object that's uh keeping you distracted right now yeah yeah so i'm not a designer i'm not a web builder um i leave that for for my wife and, and her team to do um i'm a marketer so anything to do with marketing i i always kind of try to buy and play with um and my my most recent purchase that i really love is um the the my web audit system and it was a shiny toy for me because I was other other systems and I, I may probably shouldn't have taken the time to do it, but I'm glad I did. Um, but my wife keeps me pretty on point 
um, she about two and a half years ago, she took my business credit card away. So I can't purchase plugins without going to her. So that's kind of kiboshed my uh, shiny object syndrome. Um, but then the other big one for us was Beaver Builder. We, we were Genesis and Divi based only, uh, mostly Divi. And then we moved into Beaver Builder and my web team loves it. My wife loves it because it's easier for her. Um, and, and I just, I enjoy working the edits at way more than I do on a different team set. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I love the fact that your credit card's been removed and now your wife's going yes. off and buying her shiny <laughs> objects and, uh, yeah, no, she's buying her shiny objects, yeah. <laughs> that's a very good plan. So <laughs> I like it. I like it. So what's next for, for you, Jamie? Like where is your business going in the next two to three years? Yeah. So, um, you know, innovate, is always going to continue offering client facing services. So people that come to us, uh, corporations, larger clients, but the, the biggest thing that my wife and I decided to do, and we, we decided this about a year ago was we were going to use our team that we built 95% of my team is us based. And then 86 and a half percent of them are, are veterans. So we decided we're going to take that team, and we are going to create a white label process for, for partners that are tired of flopping back and forth to different SEO companies that they may not be getting the stuff they need or might may or may not be getting done, things like that. So we've, we're, we're doing the, the white label uh, for, like I said, web agencies. 95% of what we do is marketing on the white label side. Most of those guys that come to web developers. Um, and then the other big thing is innovate. So me and then a couple other gentlemen that I've hired are really getting back into the coaching um, and the speaking engagement. So I've, I've brought two full-time coaches on, on board and they're, they're going to be doing business coaching as, as well as, as I slowly step away from running the company, I'll go into doing more and more talks and consulting um, as well. Excellent. Excellent. And just two big, yeah, that, that's great. You know, I think, I think it's great that when you get to that point of your business where you can actually start being, you know, the owner of a business and start mm -hmm. adding value and amplify, you know, the impact that you can create as opposed to sitting there and being behind the tools and managing the team. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I don't, I don't mind managing the team. I, I love, I love my team and I love managing them and I'll always have some kind of a hand in that, but also innovate. It, it's on the trajectory to get to a point where, I am not knowledgeable enough to run it. Um, there's always that point that when you get to that line, it's you have to bring somebody on smarter than you are that can run the company. And we're getting to that point very quickly. And I don't, I've already, you know, I've, I've almost got my MBA. That's almost finished. I don't feel like going back to school and learning anything else. Um, I've had enough college for last me a couple of lifetimes. So it's just easier for us to hire somebody to, to help my wife keep it running, keep doing what it's doing. And then let me and my team, especially on the white label side, do what we love to do, which is marketing and work with small web agencies doing that. So um, we're blessed that we can get to that point, but it's also a little scary having somebody else at the helm of my, of my company. So we'll yeah. see how that goes. Excellent. Excellent. But it's great that you're self-aware enough to kind of see that and visualize and kind of go, I need to put someone else that may be, you know, able to do this better or this smarter or this mm -hmm. quicker or walk this path before. And um, it's great because a lot of business owners kind of feel like they need to go out and learn more to be better, but you can, well, you know. And that was, that was, that all came from WP Elevation. I don't think prior WP Elevation, I would have even entertained a thought of somebody else running my company. But, you know, part of the process, part of the, the learning aspect is hire people that know what to, what to do and don't worry about learning it about yourself, you know, and that's exactly it. It's it, the thought processes like that are going to end up saving our company a lot of money, my clients a lot of money and me a lot of money and headache because I'm not going out there trying to learn it and failing and then my clients are getting subpar work because I'm failing at doing what I'm doing. So... Um, that was another big aha moment from Troy is hire somebody smarter than you. Mm -hmm. So excellent. Excellent. That's why he hired me. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for coming on to the show. But before we do go, if there's yeah. someone listening and they're on the fence about whether WP Elevation is the right fit for them, what's some words of wisdom that you might want to share with them right now? You know, I, I would say that 
WP Elevation is, like I said, it's worth its weight in gold. The You will get your money back for the membership on your first two projects, one or two projects. You'll get what you paid in there. If you don't get it in knowledge, you'll at least get it back in money. Um, and then again, Troy's got the processes, he's got the classes, but that's not the biggest thing about WP Elevation. There are 900 members that are all either have gone through what you're going through or are going through what you're going through and can walk, talk you away from that edge and get you pointed on the right path. Um, so that, that alone by itself is, is worth way more than the course. And then throwing on the bonus of the course, all of that stuff. And then the bonus material that comes along. Yeah. You're, you're golden. You're, you're not going to lose money joining WP Elevation. Excellent. Well said. And I just wish that sometimes we could give people a glimpse into that community and see what it's like. We're members of heaps of communities and, you know, some of them have members, but they're not active. You know, I love sure. when something goes up and there's 26 comments in, in, in one hour and that conversation yeah. goes on for a couple of days. And, you know, then we build a supporting blog article that covers that or we do a webinar with a partner that covers what our, our community are talking about. So we're very, you know, proactive and we have our finger on the pulse when it comes to that but it's very hard to give people that glimpse without being a member sure yep and you know like i said it's it's just something you're gonna have to take the chance on and that's part of business too yeah it's, it's jumping in both feet and hanging on tight well i'm glad you did and uh that your wife was uh, keen at the start as well and um you know it's it's good to have you around and i see all the value you add and 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 thanks again for coming on to the podcast and sharing your experience and um, i'm excited to see what's next for you but uh how can people get in contact with you and who's your ideal client that you're looking for yeah so uh you know like our biggest ones are working with web agencies that just need help with providing seo or other marketing services to their clients um, they can always get hold of me on Facebook. I'm pretty active on there. Uh, if you're otherwise, you can go to innovatemarketing.com and reach out through that that system to reach me, and I can walk you through however whatever it is you need help on, or get you set up, or get you connected with whoever whoever can help you. Perfect. Excellent. Well, thanks very much. And as always, listeners, the links that uh, mentioned through the show will be on our podcast website at wpelevation.com slash podcast. Jamie Hill, thank you very much for hanging out with us today. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. No worries. Until next time, go elevate. Go elevate. Well, I hope you enjoyed this podcast as much as I did making it. I always love meeting our elevators and hearing their stories and, and you can just feel it in their voice that they're so excited about what life is like now. If you want to know more about the WP Elevation Business Blueprint program, then head over to wpelevation.com. And while you're there, check out the podcast and be sure to subscribe and leave us a review at wpelevation.com slash iTunes. That's really a way that we know and letting everyone else know what the WP Elevation Business Podcast is all about. The more that we can share this podcast with others, the more that the entire industry can kind of rise and reach new levels. Well, until the next episode, go elevate.